Hello, my name's Daniel Ripley from CG Dreams, and today we're going to be looking at something which does not involve anything to do with computer graphics. Not in the sense that I've been doing for my previous videos. This, in this particular case, is going to be to do with a web application that I've been using recently called Web Plus X6. And this program is fantastic if you're not a programmer like me when it comes to making your own web pages. In particular, I'm going to be going through something which I thought was quite important, that there was kind of a missing gap in the video tutorials that I've seen out there, and that is to be able to create a email which, is, which can be sent to multiple recipients. Um, and this was something that I looked into and for various help that I found and online and on forums and certain applications are able to do this so this is make it easier for you to be able to achieve yourself if you're having this issue so without any delay let's get straight into it and make something very basic to show how this is done in order to achieve what we want to achieve what we need is two applications we need the web plus x6 and we need this program called forms to go light we want to make sure that you download the light version, not the forms to go trial, because the light version allows you to do exactly what we need to do, whereas the trial doesn't. The reason why we need forms to go is because it creates a custom PHP file based upon the files that we export from Web Plus X6. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate this by creating a very basic website. It's going to have a home page, a contact page for our email address and it's going to have a thank you page which is basically something that we're going to redirect to after an email message has been um, sent from our site. So for my contact page here I want to create an email form and to do this I'm going to go into the forms on the left here and I'm going to select this icon and just drag it in there. I'm going to go and use the use adapt and standard form click next and the comments one is perfectly fun for what we want. Click next. You can see here that we've got all of these boxes that are already made for us, but I'll need to add a, another one because there's something that's missing from this, and that is the the combination box, a box that enables us to choose what department we want to contact, i.e., sales, support, or comments. So I'm going to add this comment, this combo box, and I'm going to call this combo box subject and it's subject for the label that's going to be next to it we want to edit the control in the control we want to make sure that we've got some options for our customers to select so I'm going to add an option the first option is going to be sales and the value for this which we're going to be needing when we get to forms to go light is the value that we need to be able to identify that what we're going to be selecting an email to be the right destination. So I'm going to put sales in here as well and have this selected automatically in the form. Click another one, I'm going to have one for support. You notice that I'm not putting capital letter at the beginning of the value here so I can see the difference between the value and the actual name of the box itself that we're creating. And we want to create another one. Um, comments. Okay, with that done, we can now go to the next stage, click OK, and then Next. And we want to make sure that we click on No Action because we don't want to do anything just yet. If you didn't have no custom PHP file, you would use something like this Serif Web Resources, which can do a fine job, but for what we want it to do, we can't use this particular service, so we need to have our own custom PHP file. So we click No Action. The form name that we're creating is for contacts or contact and then we're going to click on finish and there it is. You may want to do a little bit of rearranging. Okay so what we want to do next is we want to just double click on these buttons here submit and reset because you'll notice that they haven't got a button name so we want to give it and give it a name. This is because the forms to go light likes to have a name for all of these fields, otherwise it may come back with an error. Now that we've done this, we can move on to the next stage, and that is to simply export this. So we're going to go to the publish site and publish to disk folder. Make sure I publish all of my pages. 
and then we want to open and view these in our browser. So we're in the browser now, we've got all of these files here and we're just going to temporarily close this down. We've got this forms to go light by the side and in the next stage we're going to be using forms go to go light to generate this PHP file. So to do this we simply drag and drop our, our contacts HTML form into here. You notice that you've got all of these values that we should recognize from the form itself. We want to make sure that our customer is forced to input some data to some of these forms. It's very, very important. So they have to put in something for the name. So we're going to select a, a number of characters. The minimum number of the characters, I'd say maybe three, up to say 15 for a long, long name. If they don't put it in, then I'm going to give them a message. Same for the email. There's one specifically for email, we can see here, email address. And if they don't put that into the email address, you need to give them a message. Um, for the comment, same thing for the comment. We can go with number of characters. We can say between, between five and say, I don't know, 100 characters, just for this example. Please enter message. Submit, reset, and subject we don't have to add anything for. That's fine the way that is. We can go on to the next step now. And we need to go to the edit menu, or sorry, set sentence, and go to email to forms owner. This is where we add the email addresses and we choose where we want them to go to. So first of all, we want to go from whatever the email address is that someone's going to put in, which is the email field. And then we want to just click plus to add an email address. So for me, it's going to be going to say sales, sales, at business1.co.uk. Okay just some made up address there. And for the rule, we want to have the rule as a subject because the subject is the option where we can choose where we want it to go to. And the subject is going to be equal to the form and this is the value that we put in. So the subject value that we put in for it was sales. You can see there. We just pop back into the program again. We can see this. We just double click on this. You can see the value there for sales item is sales. Make sure it's spelt the same. And the, the form in particular is about the subject. And we need to add all of the email addresses that we need. So we've got one for support. Let's have a look. We've got one for sales, support, and comments. Make sure you enter the correct email address for each one of them. And okay, once you've checked that you've definitely got that right, we need to go on to the next um, place called the email body. And in here, we want to make sure that the the uh, the right department is receiving the right header for the subject of the message. So what we do for this is we right click and we click on subject. And that's the one. And what this basically means is, is that we're going to be able to receive an email which has the correct subject, whatever the um, customer has chosen, whether that be for support, etc. This way that you're going to be able to identify all your emails should you have other emails going to the same location. But it's just something that you can have if you want to. You don't have to have just a subject, you may want to have the subject and have maybe one of the other fields to be included in the subject of the email. As an example, I actually put a field there for the title so that the person I wish to contact you can put their own particular title as to what the subject's about. In this particular case, I could have maybe that sign there of a space and then right click and have title there as well. 
that way that when you receive the email you see both the type of um, subject that it's about and the unique title to the particular subject so we've got sales and this is the actual message that the customer wanted to send you that it's about so with that said I'm going to click OK and then that's all we need to do apart from one more thing in the settings and that is the landing pages and we want to redirect this we want to redirect it so that it goes back to the thank you page so to do this we click on redirect we make sure we've got the full URL on which we want to direct it to so in this particular case I'm going to make one up it's going to be say HTML and the thank you dot HTML is what it's mimicking or copying exactly on this so it's going to the right destination to find this page when we upload it onto the web server when we've done this we click OK and then we go to script and we will create our PHP script what we then do is we make sure that we call this something that we're going to be able to recognize I'm going to call this contact and then save this you notice that it's gone into here now now we can head back into the web plus x6 and then we can complete what we're doing so we're just going to go in this area here and double click and now we can select script from hard drive and then we can select this script from the browse and there it is and that's great that's all we have to do so this is a site that I've been working on recently and I've implemented exactly what I've showed you in this video training and I've just filled this in with some basic information the name the email address I'm sending it from my subject I've chosen is sales the subject title items in stock and the message and then I click submit it goes to the thank you page which was redirected by the PHP script and then that's timed for only a few seconds or five seconds and then that's done if you type in the YouTube search box living Wandsworth you'll come up with a host of fantastic video training for web plus x5 and previous versions and one of these videos pretty much shows you what I've showed you today only I've just added that little bit extra on the end that shows you how to send to multiple email addresses. So with that said, thanks for watching and bye for now.